excited about this word because it has everything to do with your voice and how valuable you are and how it's a setup. You may be facing problems, but it's a setup for God's possibilities. And if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know how I'm pumped about your voice. I'm pumped about the fact what happens when we get to align our voice to heaven. How amazingly exciting is that? So it's your voice. <clears throat> Can you imagine it connected to heaven as it is? If Christ is in you, the hope of glory is in you. If Jesus is alive in your heart, the Spirit's alive. We live from heaven to earth. And if you think about it, we're spirit beings having a human experience. So if you're having a Monday human experience, it's not real cool. I'm sorry. I, I, I have all the compassion and blessing for you. But this is what I'm excited about, is you and your voice, no matter what day it is, connecting to heaven. And what happens when that happens? What happens when your voice truly connects to heaven? I'm really excited because... I've been working on this free uh, voice camp. I'm going to invite you to a voice camp. And I've been thinking about it. It's like, I'm going to, God was like telling me what to do. And he was like, you know, what does the vine dresser say? I'm like, okay. And then he gave me four keys. And that actually we can connect our voice to heaven. Okay, I'm talking about you. So it's like this. It's like when we connect our voices to heaven, something obviously supernatural happens. When we connect our voice to heaven, when you do that, okay, it's like God's super hits your ordinary, and supernatural is not what you do, it's who you are. I have a vine dresser word I want to share with you, but, but, but I just want to encourage you that you within the spirit of the living God, you have like what's called, I call it the hum of heaven. The Holy Spirit showed me this a couple of years ago. It's like your voice carries the very cadence that connects with heaven like no other. You know, I, I'm really having troubles concentrating with you and doing that, making faces, sorry. So are you following with me? Hey, good afternoon, Tiffany. I lost my train of thought. Just... I can't look at you and look at someone else. It wasn't my husband, just so you know. So, so here we go. So I wrote this word a while ago, and it's called You Are a Revivalist. And I think I just want to start out and read it to you right from the get-go. Are you all right with that? Okay, listen. This is it. This is it. Your voice, okay, is connecting to heaven, right? And then it's like the vine dresser, he knows that and he wants to ensure you, he wants to speak to you that this is not a striving thing of your voice being connected to heaven, to make an influence. That's the basis of this free webinar. As your voice connects to heaven, you get to have influence, like influence in your home, whether it's your mom learning how to talk to a daughter, whether it's influence in your marketplace. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's influence in your ministry, your business. See, you're meant to have influence. You're meant because God put in you a very extraordinary, I know it's extraordinary, but I say extraordinary solution in your voice. So I'm going to read this vine dresser word, and we're going to talk about it just a little bit more. The declaration is, my life has purpose. I am a revivalist. My voice connects to heaven. I am a revivalist. Now listen to the vine dresser. Can, can you hear this? You are my revivalist, child. I give you the deep revelation to fruitful activation to make you my messenger to impact thousands. There's that voice. I have touched your life. I've touched your voice with an extraordinary solution to someone else's pain point. Yes, the desire for the manifestation of your true destiny is from me. Vine dresser, talking to you. You have learned patiently to wait in my peace room, in the house of wine, the vineyard, and find what you really long for, more of me. Gentleness now resides in you. You have learned that nothing can satisfy the last aching abyss in your heart like the tender love of me, says the vine dresser. You experience the tender love of me you experience in the vineyard, in the house of wine. You crave righteousness and are surrounded with abundant fruit. You demonstrate tender mercy with grace and have learned to unselfishly spill that same grace out to others with your voice. Your idea of fun is drive-by blessings or walk-by healings. You choose peace over strife. Instead of offense, you choose forgiveness. 
Because you've walked in the realm of my kingdom by hanging out in the secret place, my vineyard, I have endued you with power to live victoriously over every area of your life. Vine dresser says this to you, your voice, your life, you become the breakthrough. You are the shift for favor. You carry the glory story. Your connection because you are connected to the vine. You are revival because revival has blown through your heart, disrupting the chaotic plan and pain of the evil one. Mm, I get excited about that one. Can I read that again? You are revival, okay? Because revival has blown through your heart and disrupting the chaotic plan and pain of the evil one. You can say, no drama to the trauma here. Revival is living in me. You are my revivalist because of my abiding presence. You are the much needed salt to a world that's lost its appetite for a, and hope for a loving meal at my table. You are a light to a world who thinks darkness is normal and struggles with enmity and conflict. Being a revivalist is not about striving, but simply abiding. My presence in you is able to defeat any opposition you may face in your mind or in your reality. You are my hands to bring salvation. You are my voice to speak salvation. You are my revivalist to bring deliverance and healing to the world. So say it. Say it, child. I am a revivalist. It's really who you are in the vine. Love the vine dresser. It's who you are as you learn to connect your voice to heaven. Have the full power of the Holy Spirit in your voice. And when your voice could be, it could be just who you are. Okay? It's not like necessarily your physical voice. Although who you are, you bring your voice everywhere you go. Your voice, you could be revival going to Walmart. Like, just a smile. Hey, how you doing? It's not like striving. I'm going to be revival of taking my son to work. Hey, see you later. I love you, son. Oh, have a good day, honey. And then we're going to go to Sonic with my little one, and we're going to go get a cherry limeade and be revivalist in the drive through because our voices are connected to heaven. I just want to encourage you that you're very important. Your voice has meaning. And I'm really excited because Thursday, August 1st, we're kind of sliding in to opening up our voice camp, and we're going to give you free entrance into our voice camp, see what it's like, and get behind the scenes and get a chance. It's going to officially open August 1st, our voice camp. But we want to invite you in, kind of like, what do you mean connecting your voice to heaven? What do you mean by voice camp? It's like finding your voice, marketing your voice. No. Finding your voice, sharing your voice, and marketing your voice so you can be an influence in your area, your sphere of influence. So you can be an influencer. You know, you can be an influencer as a mom, as a dad, as someone who goes to work, as someone who has a part-time job, as someone who wants to start something online. Or you got that book that's just like, it's just like birthing it. How do I birth this book? Your voice. Your voice could be in your coaching business. I mean, there's so, I, my heart beats for these people. Because I really believe that the, the internet, the world the online, is. this used to be a saying I had about five years ago, and it's never more true. Speak for the world that's listening online. You have something in your voice that the world needs to hear. You have a way to talk to your flock. i got to go in five minutes. So that's the heart of all of this. And I would love to share with it. What's really cool is as I was laying out the slides for four keys, the Lord, the Lord was saying... Do it this way. It may not be the marketplace way, but I want you to do it this way, Teresa. And then this morning he said, I want you to give it just a little nibbit of a, of a vine dresser word over at the bottom of each keys. And you'll know what I mean. Will you join us? Seats are limited, so grab a seat. I want to see your face. I want to hear your voice. Because I want to say, listen, listen, listen. It's your time. It's time to connect your voice to heaven and make a dramatic impact that is like transformation that not only affects your life, it affects the lives of others. It affects the life of your family, your business, your ministry, where God's put you. All right, so here it is, redeemyourvoice.com. That'll give you a chance to get a free report, by the way, finding your voice. And it will also um, it also be an audio, and it'll grab your seat. It'll reserve your seat, 
And if you miss it and you can't be there, I'll get you the replay link. So that's the best way. Redeemyourvoice.com. I have to take my son to work. I have to carry Revival now. I'm going to get into my big one F-150 truck. Can go down the road, singing praises to God, and taking my son to work. And then we're going to go get some cheery limeades at Sonic with my little one that I've got visiting here. All right. Man, I really love you. I really appreciate you. Well, if no one's told you today, let me be the one who tells you. You are valuable. You are anointed. You are called and set apart for such a time as this. Your voice is valuable. You can use your voice to shift atmospheres. Yes, you, because Christ is in you. All right. Redeemyourvoice.com. I can't wait to see you on the other side. And I'll talk to you in another video.